<laughs> Some sucker will think he's getting beer, but he's really gonna get a face full of melon. Seedless melon. <laughs> Shh, don't ruin the moment. Oh boy, free beer! Oh man! Easy, Barney. Easy. Remember the twelve steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, uh. Nice try, boys. That was the Roadrunner sent to the coyote. Meep, meep. Oh, everyone in town is wise to us. We need someone new we can prank. <laughs> oh, sweet. Fresh meat. Meat's not sweet, it's savory. Hey, Bean Sprouts. The name's Hal Huser. I travel the country gawking and talking, and I was hoping to take in your town. We can show you around, if you don't mind a heap and helping a local color. Why, my favorite color is local. Ooh, watermelon. Want to plant the seeds? It's seedless. Aww. <gasps> Radioactivity? That means it's a place where we do radio activities. Well, I'm happy to be exposed to that kind of radioactivity. <laughs> you know, the fish here are so friendly, you can walk right up and feed them. Hmm. <laughs> well, howdy, little fella. Ow! Oh, ow! ow. I can't wait till this is over! Ow! <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could visit the hospital now. Perhaps a stick of gum will lighten your mood. It always has in the past. Ow! <laughs> Finger pain? I thought I had gum coming. That tears it. I've been smiling for 47 years, and you two broke my streak. Shame on you. And shame on you. And shame on your whole ill-mannered town. Hey, that guy's shaming us. My self-esteem sure didn't need that. Uh, Ow! Loser! Yeah, get out, shaming! <laughs> I don't think we'll be hearing from him again. So, Kitchen Wizard, I understand you have a book coming out. Yes, it's about Winston Churchill's life between the wars. Up next on the Soft News Network, let's hear from our own wide-eyed wanderer, Howell Huser. Uh-oh. I've ambled and rambled across this country and never found a town I didn't like. Till now. And the name of that town is Springfield. <gasps> I was attacked, humiliated, and fed misleading gum. I give Springfield the lowest rating I've ever given a city, a 6 out of 10. 